selecting and adjusting specific areas in your photos has never been easier. In this video, I'll show you simple techniques in On One Photo Raw to enhance and refine your edits with precision. Let's jump in and get started. Inside of On One Photo Raw, if you're looking to select a specific region or a specific subject within your image, you can do so easily by using Super Select AI. The Super Select AI tool lives over here in your tool well on the left hand side of your screen. You can just click this Super option here. And with Super Select AI, all we have to do is hover over various regions or subjects within our image. We can select them and then we can apply an adjustment or any filter that we need to that specific area. So we can target larger regions such as the background just by hovering over that specific area. Or if we want to target smaller regions such as maybe just the beak or the eye of this bird, we can target those areas as well. So let's say within the bald eagle here, we just want to select the white feathers on the top of the bird. We can just hover over that region. You can see it's highlighted it in blue, indicating it's detected that region. All we have to do then is right click. And now we have this menu where we can apply local adjustments, or we can use any of the different filters that live in Photo Raw. So let's just add in dynamic contrast, one of the most popular filters for adding in detail and texture into that specific region. If we go into the filter and let's go into the masking options, we'll view the mask. You can see it's automatically created a mask for us and applied that specific filter into that specific area of our photo. So now if I turn this filter off and on, it's only applying the filter to that specific region. Another thing I like about Super Select AI is that you can click and drag to create an area within your scene and it will automatically find specific subjects within that region. So let's say we want to target both of these bald eagles here. I'm just going to click and drag a little box around both of them. You can see it's identified those two subjects within that box. And now I can apply a filter or a local adjustment into both of these animals at the same time. So again, they're already selected. I'll just right click and I'll go in and let's add dynamic contrast into both of the birds. So let's view the mask here. You can see it's done a great job of identifying the subjects and all we have to do now is just modify the filter as needed. And if we turn this off and on, you can see it's only applying that filter into that specific area of our photograph. So this makes it incredibly easy to target specific areas of your image, whether it be an animal, a person, a background, you name it. All you have to do is hover over the region, select it, and then pick which adjustment or filter you want to apply to it. Now you can also do the same thing with layers. If you're looking to cut out a specific subject and then add in a new background, you can do so really easily using the AI masking tools in Photo Raw. So I'm going to select this layer mask here to make sure I'm masking into the specific layer. And my masking tools are already selected here, but if they're not selected, you can just grab your mask tools over here in your tool well. I'm going to go up to this top tool modifier bar and I'm going to choose the Quick Mask AI brush. It works very similar to the Super Select AI tool. All I have to do is just find the specific subject that I want to cut out from this image. I'm going to do the same thing we did with the eagles and just draw a little box around that area that I need to cut out. You can see it's selected the subject there. From there, I'm going to make sure that I have paint selected so that I can paint the person in to reveal them. And then I'll just choose this little blue check mark. And there we go. We've cut out the person from the background so that we can add in a new one as needed. Well, sometimes when we're selecting people especially, or subjects that have fine lines around the edges, we may need to refine the mask a little bit. So within this image here, you can see we have a little bit of hair that didn't quite make it into the mask. So to fix that, we're going to go to our mask tools. We're going to go up here and we're going to choose refine brush. 
With the refine brush, all we have to do is paint over the areas that we need to clean up a little bit, especially these edges where we have that fine hair within the scene. It will automatically detect those edges and then we can bring back those finer areas of detail so that it looks a lot more natural when we add in a new background. So I'm just going to add in a new background from my layers here. And just like that, we've cut out a subject from a photo and replaced the background behind them using the AI masking tools in On One Photo Raw. It's really that easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.